Okay, so starting week two, I am practicing the side swings. I should probably learn the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> side swipes? I don't know. So, I was watching a video. It says, like, your right hand that's on the bottom is just basically going back and forth. And then your top hand is the one that's doing, like, all the movement. So this hand's just following like this, and then this one's doing this, so. Not tangled, well, that tangled a little bit. That seems good. I wanna be able to do both, so I'm gonna switch left hand on the bottom. So I want to be able to teach, uh, you know, like left and right handed people. Okay, so what I'm noticing when I start jumping is I start moving my hands more like into the ground and I need to just keep it steady. Movement's not comfortable, like it's not natural feeling. I get a little out of control when I start jumping. Okay. Jumping over the rope, but jumping with it. This is the next step of the practice. Now I'm going on. Now I'm ready. Jumping over it. just this quickly like you start to get comfortable ah oh, cuz i was doing this trying to do the swings earlier and like this boom that's like an opening boom with right over left under boom boom so it's like when the so like say I were to hold on. yeah right over so this with right on top, it's an easy opening. Like if I'm going to the left, my right hand's on top, going to the left, easy opening. But if I go, if I go to the right, that same way where my right hand is on top, and then I try to go, it's almost like as if I need to be crossed when I jump. So that's something to document, like, Figuring that out. You know, like you separate, but then it kind of has a crossover of the rope and then it comes out. This, wait, right hand on top, easy opening. Coming from my left side. 
let me turn around with the right hand on top. Coming from the left side, easy opening to jump, to jump. But coming from my right side, wait, right side, it's not an easy opening to jump. With my right hand on top, coming from my right side. I guess I just open that hand back up. Yeah, because when I open it back up, it almost like twists it and then opens it. When coming from this direction and I open it, it's just already completely open, you know? But when I do it from this direction, it's like this, and then I'm opening it, and so it's like twisting and then opening. Does that make sense? So I need to learn more, get deeper in my, my training to figure that out. Okay, without watching training, I probably would have been like doing both hands, both sides like this, you know, maybe like evenly. But I did like, I think, knowing to keep this hand just right here, whatever hands on top is doing all the work. I think that was a good tip. But I've only watched like a part of one video. <laughs> I should probably watch more. Okay, let me switch to my left. My left doing all the twisting. Day one, training the side. Yeah, I need to learn the name. <laughs> See ya. Get that cutie.
Lean them up. Okay. practice right there yo okay week two I'm still on side swings I'm getting some freaking gnarly Bedouins look <laughs> what is happening anyway I look cool right um okay so I saw because I'm okay so hear me out Left hand over right. So let's say left hand on top, dominant, right? So you swing to your right, open up. And then you just swing to your left, back to your right, open up, okay? But I always saw somebody do swing to your right, open up, swing to your left, open up. Like they're jumping in between each one. And I'm like, how is that? Because when you go to the left, the open up is fine, but when you go to the right, your hands end up crossed, you know? So anyway, I was like, well, maybe you just switch. So you go to your right, but left hand on top, you go to your right, open up, then you go to your left, switching your right hand on top and open up. So I was like, maybe that's what they do. Maybe they're switching their hand every time. So I tried it and it's a little wonky because the rope seems to get twisted a little bit but i'm able to keep it going so um <laughs> i just realized i had these shorts on uh still from longboarding okay so i'm gonna try it and show y'all so left open right open so i'm switching oh my freaking hair hold please okay so i'm switching hands every time so left open now my right's on top open left's on top open see that okay i can go faster left open okay it's my hair you know i've got to figure this out because it's going to be a long journey and i have long hair i'm just going to put it up in a bun sometimes it hits the top of my bun but i don't want to put the bun like way in the back so i'm like a boy anyway let's try it <laughs> All right, left on top, open, right on top, open. Okay, ready? Left, open, right. See, the ropes get a little twisty, but it's doable. And maybe I just have to get better at like whipping it open each time, you know? So. but maybe that's what happens. Just switch the hand that's on top. Hmm, okay, week two discovery. All right, today was the last day of my week two, which was side swings. And of course, I'm like building on. So I'm also working on my fundamentals this week as I do my side swings. Emphasis on the side swings. Just a little refresher on the fundamentals. And then when I go into my third week, I'll do the same thing. I'll still do my fundamentals still do my side swings, and then I'll emphasize on a new movement. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. So I'm excited to move on. Week three, here we come. <laughs> 